guys, welcome back to another episode of Art and Hearts with your instructor, Ms. Smith. Today, we're gonna talk about stamping. These are, this is a piece of artwork that I made and I divided it up into sections because I wanted to see different patterns that I could get with using everyday materials. You know, I love to do that. So this was from toilet paper, um, a cup on the little bottom. This is from bubble wrap right here. This was from safety pins. Mmm, love that. This was from a screen, like for at your window. And this was kind of a flower, um, a leaf. Yeah. So what we're also going to be talking and I'll be showing you is how you can make your own stamping tools. So this was just a piece of cardboard from a package and I put yarn over it. As you can see, I tied it. And then I would put paint. I'll show you how to do this. And then I just stamped, made some really cool stuff. This, I made another stamping tool with bubble wrap that came in a package in my mail, as well as this is toilet paper roll. And I just taped it on. And, it, and then you can just roll it. Again, I'll show you how to do this. So for you to learn how to make your own stamping, come and join me. Let's get started. Great, welcome back. Um, so I wanted to explain how I made this piece. So this is a little bit of a heavier paper, but again, any kind of paper you have, computer paper, whatever you have is fine. So um, I divided this up into different shapes. So I just used a ruler and a Sharpie to divide the lines, a little hard to see. And then I used things that, again, as I always said, that I have at home. So this was bubble wrap that I used for this part right here. I just used this bubble wrap, painted it and dipped it down. Right here is, I used a paper clip. See, yeah, mm -hmm. just used a paper clip and I just dipped it several times. It's really simple. It does take time though. Um, and for this, I just used the edge of a little cup and then I dipped the paint and I would, psh, 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 that's all that I did. And then for this, actually, there was some tile that I got at um, the Goodwill a couple of years ago, and I still had it, and this was the back of it. And it, I just dipped it in paint, and that's how I got that pattern. This right here was just a leaf that I took, and I just stamped it. And then here was just for this pattern, I just used like a screen on a window. I just got some from a hardware store a while ago and then I just utilized it, put paint on it and then I would just dip it. I'm gonna show you how I use most of these tools, which is great, but you know, however, if you wanna make a heart, if you wanna make a circle and then you can make patterns within that, that's great too. This was just so you can explore stamping, which is an, you know, a material or an object, you put paint on it and you stamp it right? And make, this is basically a, a print, okay? And I was printing with this stamping. Great. So, um, also, I also made my own kind of stamping tool. So, we have this one right here. You know, I just, it's a star. I cut it out of cardboard. I glued it in the back of a food for a cat. And yeah, I just recycled that. This was the bubble wrap that I put on the back of the aluminum for the kitty food. And then I would just stamp that way. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna show you some of this. And then I use the same thing that was here. You could do it this way. So I tend to prefer to just use my hands, but I thought, well, let's just see what happens here. And then of course, for those, if you're, if there's a tree nearby you, even in, you know, on a busy street, there's usually always a tree. And I just found the leaves on the ground and I picked them up and I just put paint on it and then I stamped it, right? So I'm gonna show you that as well. All right, here we go. Okay, great. So this is one of the tools I kind of made. I haven't used this. I don't know if it'll work, but let's see. All I did was take um, from a piece of cardboard from pa the package I got, and then I took yarn and I just tied it a bunch of times. I probably could have just taped it, but that's what I had. So now I've got the paint here and 
I just brushed it out and I'm going to try to stamp this part and see what happens. I don't know, let's see. Oh wow, nothing happened. Kind of like the patterns that it left on that one too. It's really cool. Oh wow, that is really cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's do another dipping. a great little instrument. Great, let's go to the next one. Okay, great, so we're back and I have these kind of three colors here. I am going to try to roll, this is just um, bubble wrap over a toilet paper roll that I put over, because I just wanna see what happens. I'm gonna dip that a little bit. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Oh, great patterns, wow. That came out excellent. really came out really great. So I love this tool that I used, the bubble wrap over the toilet paper roll. Yeah, it's excellent. Super happy with it. Welcome back, guys. So as you can see, this was some of the work that we made from the stamping. Yeah, that was the bubble wrap, as you can see. And this was the bubble wrap um, on the toilet paper roll. That worked out really well. This is probably one of my favorite prints that we did. And this one was probably, actually this is my favorite. This came from this tool that we just stamped it on. So, great job. All right guys, till next time, I'll bring the art, you bring the hearts. Bye.